Lanny Joyce, our Director of Utilities and Energy Management at Cornell University. I'm standing in front of one of our two combustion turbine engines that provide electricity and heat to the entire university. This jet engine is a, a derivative of what's used in airplanes to move airplanes, but in our case, instead of moving an airplane, we're running an electric generator. Instead of wasting the heat out of the back end of the engine, we're heating Cornell. Together, making heat and electricity, we can reach an efficiency of 75 to 85% for the fuel going into the engine versus a typical power plant that would be wasting the heat energy and only getting about a 30% mechanical efficiency. At the front of the engine is the air intake. 100,000 cubic feet per minute of air comes into the engine and is uh, compressed by a multi-stage compressor at the front end that increases the pressure of the air 15 times that of atmospheric pressure to about 225 pounds per square inch. That compressed air then moves into a combustor section where fuel is added, either natural gas or ultra-low sulfur diesel oil. It is squirted into the combustion chamber and an ignition process ignites that gas and it rapidly changes in temperature and pressure the expanding gas then moves through the back end of the engine where three stages of power turbine will extract mechanical energy for two purposes. One, to compress the air coming into the, action, into the engine, and second, it'll cause a shaft to rotate out the front of the engine that's driving an electric generator. That shaft is connected through a gearbox to the generator making 15,000 kilowatts at peak energy to the uh, campus and uh, the waste heat then continues coming out the back end of the turbine and provides us with heat energy to the campus at about a 950 degree temperature. So you can see on the back end of the engine the final mechanical turbine stage where the expanding gas leaves the engine and goes into the heat recovery boiler. Inside the boiler we can either just recover the heat or we can add more natural gas and uh, get additional heat beyond what just the engine waste heat. The engine RPM is about 12,000 revolutions per minute. And that's too fast to spin an electric generator. So on the cold end of the engine where the shaft goes out headed toward the generator, there's a big gearbox which reduces the speed from 12,000 down to 1,800 revolutions per minute, which is a standard electric generator speed. Our two combustion turbines running together provide about 30,000 kilowatts, nearly the entire electric need of the university. On the steam side, in addition, we have a two megawatt and a six megawatt uh, steam turbine generator. So when you combine the steam turbine generators, the combustion turbine generators, and our hydro plant, we can meet the entire needs of Cornell University's electricity. In addition, in the heat recovery steam generators, beyond just recovering heat with, with auxiliary firing, we can boost the amount of heat energy delivered and nearly meet the entire heating needs of Cornell with the two combustion turbines. We only need a little bit of extra heating energy during the peak cooling hours of the winter, which we provide with packaged boilers in the plant.